you like eating stuff and getting powers from it? Good, you've come to the right place. Today, we'll cover 25 sweet facts about the cute little pink fluff, Kirby. Number one. While we usually see Kirby in a pink color, Miyamoto originally wanted him to be yellow. Series creator Masahiro Sakurai wanted him pink, and that little rascal got his way. Number two. Everyone knows that Kirby is most famous for being able to suck up enemies and take their powers. However, this ability wasn't possible until his second game, Kirby's Adventure on the NES. Number three. Kirby's 20th anniversary was in 2012. To celebrate, 536 Kirby fans gathered together at PAX Prime to break a Guinness World Record for the largest group to blow bubblegum. Nintendo themselves put together the event and even gave the participants Kirby shirts to wear. Number 4. The shape of Kirby was never intended as the final design. Sakurai drew Kirby in a simple ball as a placeholder until more of the artwork was developed. Over time, he decided to stick with the design for its simplicity. Number 5. Kirby was originally called Popo Po, but the team decided to change it to Kirby later on. Some believe the inspiration behind this name is from comic book artist Jack Kirby, but it's actually based off of an American lawyer. Miyamoto has stated that during the lawsuit between Universal City Studios and Donkey Kong, John Kirby was Nintendo's lawyer. Number 6. When comparing box art for Kirby titles between Japan and America, you'll notice that he looks happier and cuter in the Japanese covers and angrier for the American covers. This is because the marketing team believes the angry box art for the Western audience performs better with that style. It has nothing to do with Kirby being bipolar. Number 7. If you were to count how many copy abilities Kirby has used that doesn't include the final weapons or the Smash Bros abilities, he has used 104. This includes all the Robobot armor modes, super abilities in Return to Dreamland, and all the Kirby 64 slash Squeak Squad mix abilities. If you really want to go deep, there's four exclusive copy abilities only used in the anime, Kirby right back at ya. These are Baton, Iron, Top, and Kabuki. Number 8. The lead programmer for Kirby's Adventure, Hiroki Suga, was originally worried about space when it came to the copy abilities. He thought the amount of abilities, 26 of which are in the game, would take up several NES games. Number 9. Kirby's Epic Yarn didn't start off as a Kirby game. The original game was called World of Fluff, which featured Prince Fluff as the protagonist. Nintendo decided to make this game a Kirby title, and Prince Fluff ended up as his partner. Poor guy. Number 10. In most Kirby titles, when Kirby is standing or walking, his face expression is neutral. The only two games where he's smiling in these poses are Kirby 64 and Kirby's Epic Yarn. Number 11. Whenever Sakurai is signing something, he always draws Kirby next to his name. Funny enough, Miyamoto has a similar style, but draws Mario instead. Number 12. The box art for Kirby Triple Deluxe depicts Kirby inhaling, which makes sense since the game includes the Hypernova ability. Interestingly enough, this is only the second time we've seen Kirby use his suction ability on box art the first being the international box art for Kirby's Adventure. Number 13. In Kirby's Squeak Squad, there's an unused ability in the game's data called Block. We aren't sure what it was meant to do, but it's guessed that it was an early version of the Triple Star. Number 14. Wispy Woods is a very common boss in Kirby games, but isn't found in every title. In Kirby's Squeak Squad, Wispy Woods only makes a cameo at the title screen. Number 15. While Kirby games are generally released every couple years, the longest duration fans waited for a new title was 3 years, 10 months, and 13 days. The new title that was coming was Kirby's Epic Yarn, while the previous one was Kirby's Squeak Squad. Number 16. A total of 18 enemies can grant Kirby the Spark ability. This is the highest amount of enemies that yield the same copy ability. Number 17. The wheel ability is very common in the franchise, but it actually doesn't make an appearance in Kirby's Return to Dreamland. There was kind of a replacement, 
wielding the needle ability allowed you to roll through enemies with a dash attack. Number 18. When Kirby's Superstar was released to the Wii U eShop in Europe, they weren't given the European version of the game, but the American version instead. Number 19. Ever wondered what Sakurai's favorite copy ability is? In the past, he said that his favorite is Beam, but in terms of Kirby's Superstar, he prefers Fighter and Suplex because he finds the more hands-on abilities most satisfying. Number 20. Out of every Kirby game, there's only two in the franchise that don't include any ice stages. Those two are Kirby and the Rainbow Curse and Kirby's Dream Land. Number 21. Waddle Dees are some of the most common enemies in the Kirby series, but Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards, and Kirby and the Rainbow Curse don't feature them in those games. Number 22. There was supposed to be a sequel to Kirby Tilt and Tumble on the Game Boy Advance. It was announced at Nintendo Space World 2001. The game later changed to Rollorama, which was basically the same thing without Kirby in it, but over time, the whole project disappeared. Number 23. Kirby Air Ride was the last game that Sakurai worked on. He left HAL to create his own company, Sora LTD. This was because Sakurai was tired of sequelizing Kirby and didn't like how his fans automatically assumed that there would be a sequel after each game. Number 24. There's five games that have never been available for digital download. These include Kirby Tilt and Tumble, understandably, Kirby Slide, Kirby Superstar Ultra, Kirby Air Ride, and Kirby's Dream Collection Special Edition. Number 25. There is this big, chubby huff of fluffy tough that carries around a hammer and wears a Santa Claus coat. This is the bad guy of the Kirby franchise, King DDD. Hey, maybe he's just Santa in disguise. Who knows? Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments which fact videos we should cover next. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day everybody. Talk with you all soon.